Hey guys, Pat here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And a couple days ago, we had a little mishap uh, over at the neighbor's house, and somebody had ran into our mailbox and our neighbor's mailbox. And so, incidentally, um, I was asked if I could fix it, and I said, "Sure." I came over here and I fixed it. Well, you know how picky some gals are. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of positive response from that, so I guess I better come and give this a proper repair. Okay, what I got here, um, I didn't take you through that process, but I had a piece of Douglas fir here, and I cut it down to two and a quarter inches thick and 11 inches deep and 25 inches long. So there's going to be two mailboxes sitting on here with a space in the middle so we can set packages and stuff like that on here um, we have packages going out uh, from our Etsy store and such so we get packages uh, quite often from Amazon or wherever and so well I want to put a space in between the two mailboxes for larger packages so I got this all laid out here I'm gonna have a post that's uh, going to be four and a half by three and a half traded post. It's going to uh, hold hold this whole thing up here. So we'll have a support post underneath here. Um, this is just this isn't the support post, but this is just for a simulation here to show you what I'm doing. But anyways, there's going to be a support post here, and then I'm going to have some wooden gussets that go on the left and on the right and on the front of this support platform okay I got a piece of piece of Douglas fir here again again I I cut this down run it through the planer ran it through the joiner and I got a five and a half by two and a quarter and the front the front uh, piece I'm gonna make five and a half inches long and I already have two of the side supports. They're going to be nine inches long. So I'll go ahead and cut this at five and a half by five and a half block. And then I'm going to draw an arc in here. Let's get it right, huh? Now let's go ahead and cut that out on the bandsaw. Now we're back over here at the router table. And we'll go ahead and route these edges here. So I thought I'd dress this up a little bit and put a few little decorative holes in this. Uh, just little holes, little decorative holes in here. So I know I want a hole somewhere in the center here. So I'm going to put a hole. I'm going to find where the center is. So I'm going to go with a 45 degree angled square. And then just put me a line there. And then I want maybe three holes in this guy. So I'm going to maybe go out there two inches let's go one and a half inches to the two outside holes and how about two inches to the inside hole and I'll make this hole a little bit larger than these two edge pieces and that'll kind of make this whole corner flow together here okay I'm at the drill press well this is a 9 16 Forzner bit and you can use any bit that you think looks good
Okay, so now I'll make this hole here just a little bit larger than these two here to give it just a little bit more contrast because this is a thinner area between here, here, and then here is a thick, thicker area. So a little wider, a larger circle right here will decorate this just a little bit better and uh, make all that kind of flow together. At least that's the plan. Let's see if it works. Okay, this one here is a 15 16 as you can tell, I'm not really being scientific about this. I'm just kind of putting this together. I just, uh, you know, it looks fairly good. Um, people driving by might not even notice it, but uh, for those walking around the neighborhood or something, they might give them something nice to look at. I hope. I hope anyway. So I'll just go ahead and replace that bit there. Okay, this is how this is going to be set up. This is turned upside down, obviously. The post is going to be three and a half by four and a half. And here's the gussets, how they're going to lay in place on the platform. Again, this is upside down, so you can kind of get an idea. If you turn your head upside down, you'll have it right side up. <laughs> but anyways, um, we'll have to figure out a way to fasten these with legs or uh, screws of some kind. I'm thinking of gluing and screwing this together, uh, making sure that the, there's enough clearance in here to uh, make that post fit, and then I'll dry it, and then obviously uh, take it out there and install it. Okay, some of you guys might have noticed that I spread, I mixed the concrete pretty wet. And this, uh, this is to fit into a hole that was just slightly bigger, maybe an inch bigger than this post here, this new post. So I didn't have to dig a hole as you can see. And I could just put that post right in that hole and mix uh, one bag of concrete, quickcrete, you know, and mix it, you know, to where it's uh, pretty wet. And that'll set up really nice. So I left the post full length. It was an 8 foot post. I also had let, I had a little bit of extra concrete left over so I just poured a little bit of an apron around the base of the post so it's easier to mow around and to weed eat. And so now I got the post cut off to 32 inches. That's where the last post was. And let's see if my 
uh, mailbox ba base will fit on there now. They got it cut off to the right height. Oh, look at there. Okay, that fits on there nicely. Now I'll just tap some holes in here and just put some screws to set it in place. And then I'll mount these. These are 6 by 17 and a half. And the mailboxes sit right on top of those. And I'll show you that as we go along here. Okay, I got that done just in time for the mail lady to stop by. So I think that'll offer a lot of support, and hopefully it looks good to the neighbors. So, all right, that completes that project. Well, thanks for stopping by. Take care and God bless.